Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today is a huge day. Uh, today was a day that a lot of people had anticipated. A lot of people were waiting on this day. A lot of people weren't sure when it was going to happen, but it's finally here. The iPhone SE 2020 was released by Apple today. It was actually announced today through Apple's website. And this phone right here that I have is the actually iPhone 7. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys the iPhone 7 is because the iPhone 7 is actually going to be the same body as the iPhone SE 2020. Or should I say the iPhone SE 2020 is going to be the same body as the iPhone 7, iPhone 8. And the iPhone SE 2020 is going to have the glass back. This one has a matte back. It's also going to have the IP rating of 68. It's going to have the A13 Bionic chip, which is the major upgrade. Basically, if you're upgrading from a 7 or 8, the main selling point of the iPhone SE 2020 is the A13 Bionic chip, which is the same chip that's in the iPhone 11 Pro, which cost about $1,300, $1,400. So now Apple's selling a phone that's gonna cost $400 with Apple's premium chip. Now let that sink in for a little bit. Apple sold the phone to a lot of people for well over $1,000, and they put the same chip in that phone that they put in a $400 phone. So that's gonna be you know, debatable whether or not those people got a good deal. But it just tells you that Apple can't afford to make a chip uh, and put a good chip in a uh, phone with a lesser cost. Now, the reason that they cut a lot of corners here because basically, essentially, this is gonna be the exact look of the iPhone SE 2020. And with just some minor upgrades. And we're gonna go right now, I'm gonna go open up my computer and we're gonna go to Apple's website and we're gonna go ahead and look at the spec sheet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhone SE. And they're just gonna call it the iPhone SE. They're not even gonna call it the 2020. I'm calling it the 2020 just so that, you know, it's a little bit easier for me to explain because if I have to talk about the original iPhone SE or the iPhone SE 2020, people know which one I'm talking about. I don't know why they didn't just call it the iPhone SE 2 or the iPhone 9, which was one of those names that they wanted to call it before, but they did skip a number, so basically, we're gonna have the same 4.7 inch Retina HD. All right, now the Retina is just basically an LCD. I believe it's gonna have a 750 or a 720 PPI with the A13 Bionic chip, and it's gonna have 4K 30 uh, frames per second extended dynamic range recording. It's gonna have the Touch ID, the same as the iPhone 7 and 8. And let's see, it's gonna have water and dust resistance, quick take video, stereo recording, and it's gonna come in three colors. It's gonna come in product red, a silver one, and a black one. Now that's all the information that I have here, but they will go on pre-order on 4-17, April 17th, so in a couple days, and it's gonna be available on April 24th. So I'm not sure how good this phone's gonna sell. It's either gonna sell super, super duper good, or it just might be a bust. I really can't figure this one out. Me personally, I don't think I'm gonna spend $400 for an upgraded iPhone 8 when I can actually get an iPhone 8 right now for about 200 to 225 to 250 renewed. Now is that extra $150 worth uh, upgrading? Now the only good thing is, is that Apple does have a good uh, trade-in policy. So you can actually trade in a phone like this. So basically if I wanted to get one of these phones, I could probably trade in my uh, iPhone 7 that I paid like 50 bucks for and put it towards the purchase of a iPhone SC 2020, which isn't a bad idea at all. But so far the iPhone uh, 7 has actually been a pretty good phone for me. So I don't have any complaints with this phone. I can imagine that the iPhone SC 2020 is gonna be better. Um, but with a 4.7 inch, you know, in 2020, to me it's just kind of like, well, why didn't they just go to a five inch or a 5.2 inch? Um, they're also supposed to, be, supposed to announce a 5.5 inch, which is going to be the same body style as the iPhone 8 Plus or 7 Plus, whichever you guys want to call it. You know, 6, 7, and 8 generation iPhones were virtually the same phone with different internals, and, I, and Apple is just kind of following that same pattern here. So all in all, I think if you've never owned an iPhone before, this might be a good buy. If you got an iPhone 8 or better, I'm not sure that you're really getting your money's worth but i know you can actually get probably i think about 250 dollars if you trade in your iphone 8 plus 
uh, through Apple and then pay like an extra 150 to get this phone. But I don't think that this is an upgrade to the 8 Plus because I actually enjoy the 5.5 inch screen. So just kind of want to get this out of the way, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe down below for more future content. Thank you. And let me know if you guys think you want to buy one of these phones.